What's going on, Giants fans? It is 10 after 7. My nipples could cut glass. It is so fucking cold outside. Um, I knew I said I was going to take a quick break from videos, but as of now, there's just a lot of shit to talk about and a lot of shit going on each and every day. Um, and I just want to hop on here real quick and talk about uh, some pending free agents that we currently have um, and see if we want to keep them or let them walk. Uh, the biggest one is at tight end Evan Ingram, a.k.a. Hot Hands from Little Giants. Um, this guy I have a very strong love-hate relationship with. He'll make those spectacular, tough possession catches. He'll die for the ball. He plays hard. He really is a good teammate. But the dude just can't fucking catch for the life, his fucking life, man. He cannot catch simple passes in his numbers, in his fucking chest, in his fucking hands. There has been countless times this motherfucker's like, just give him the ball, man. Dan Daniel Jones, just give him the ball. I, I can I can do it. We give him the fucking ball and he fumbles the fucking rock. He puts the ball on the fucking turf and we fucking lose games because of it. We should have made the playoffs last year if we had to just catch the fucking ball right through his fucking hands that dimes through against the Eagles and we wouldn't even have to worry about the Eagles tanking the last season game of the year. We would have been in the playoffs with seven wins. This guy has cost me so much anger and frustration over the last past years. He was supposed to be a big beast tight end, a wide receiver hybrid. This guy got good skill. He's very athletic. He's got tremendous speed for a tight end his size. I have a feeling if he went to some other team, like the Patriots, who Bill Belichick loves those kind of special hybrid uh, receiver tight end guys, he would turn him into a fucking beast. Could it be all coaching? Very possible. Off the top of my head, I don't know who the fuck's been our tight end coach, but clearly he's not good because we haven't had a solid tight end since fucking Kevin Boss, Jake Ballard, and they were they were solid. They weren't great. They weren't good. They were solid. We haven't had a great tight end since Shockey, since fucking Bavaro. Right now, Kyle Rudolph is the only tight end on our roster, I believe. He is listed as number one in the depth chart. Um, didn't really do too much for us last year. I think he had like a touchdown or two. Not, not, come on. Put on your turn signal, you fucking loser. Jesus, sorry about that, guys. Just, you know, Jersey drivers, they don't know how to fucking use their blinkers. Anyway, Evan Ingram. Do we keep him? Do we let him walk? One side of me wants to keep him just for the sole fact that we don't really have many options. Um, and a tight end's a good security blanket for a quarterback, especially a quarterback in Daniel Jones, who's with his third fucking head coach in four years. He's with his new offensive coordinator, a whole new scheme coming in. That would be key for him to have his his guy that he's familiar with for the past couple seasons. On the other hand, Evan Ingram pisses me off too much. I don't want to fucking see him make any more costly mistakes. I will wring his neck if he drops another touchdown pass that could cost us a fucking game. Could cost us a playoff spot. There's been too many times where this guy has pissed me off to no end that I just want to get on the field and bitch slap him. I can't stand him sometimes. He is as very athletic. He's a hard worker, and you know he wants to win, and he's a good teammate from what I hear. But why, why is he so bad when we need him the most? Why? Why can't we just get a good tight end that can fucking block? He can't block. He sucks at blocking. He can't fucking catch. I don't, I don't know. But you guys in the comments, do we keep him? Do we let him go? Do we give him a one-year prove-it deal to see maybe he'll test free agency? He doesn't really see or like what he's getting in return, and he'll come back us on a, a cheap one-year prove-it deal. Who fucking knows? But I just want to know your, your, uh, your guys' thoughts in the comments sections. Do we keep him? Do we sign him? Do we let him walk? Do we let him test free agency? Let me know your thoughts. Go Giants.